Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, we've got something really special for you guys today. We got uh, Champion Grounds by Jackie O's Brewery in Athens, Ohio. Uh, it's their bourbon barrel aged coffee stout. The, uh, the coffee stout is in barrels for what it says on the label 11 months. Um, they, uh, they're using the Snoff's uh, coffee roaster, which is the, uh, it's, it's using the, <laughs> got it there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's using the uh, the green Jamaican uh, Blue Mountain coffee. As you can see, it's pouring really dark already. No big surprise yeah. there. Real dark. So, got some bubbles coming up. Some nice carbonation going on in this one. Looking good. I already smelled the bourbon. I haven't even got a nose on it, man. I can already smell the bourbon and maybe even a little bit of the coffee. Yeah, and some coffee notes in it. Let's give this a try here. Give this a smell. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, there's the coffee. Definite coffee nose. Some of the uh, bourbon's coming uh, from a little barrel character in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, getting that too. Wow, it smells really good. Maybe I'm getting like maybe a mm. little uh, pepperiness from it, uh, probably from the coffee. Right. All right, Raymond. Cheers. 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 Definitely getting the bourbon. Definitely getting the bourbon. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is a 2016 bottle, so we didn't let it age. Uh, of course, as you let it age, the bourbon kind of mellows out some. Uh, this is 2016. Uh, probably got this bottle uh, maybe two or three months ago. So, and the, the people that got this for me, uh, that were in Athens, Ohio, got it from the brewery. So it's uh, it's definitely fresh. So the bourbon's definitely there. Um, I believe this is a is this a brewery only release? It is. It is. It's We've nice. let it come up to about room temperature. It's maybe slightly below room temperature. It's got big, big barrel characteristics, yeah. and the coffee kind of comes in. It's a nice coffee. Coffee flavor coming in. Right at the end of the tongue. That's what I'm getting to. Get the same thing. Big sweetness up front. Yeah. Kind of a medium to thicker, medium mouthfeel. And coffee really pops at the end. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff. I was thinking it was going to be more of a coffee bomb. No. Uh, not at all. But, uh, but no, not at all. Not at all. The, uh, the barrel actually kind of masks the coffee at the beginning, but then kind of lets it, lets it go at the end. So what you think, man? What, uh, what would you good. rate this beer? That's good. Well, you know, I know everybody's got their own way of rating things. Rate beer's got their own way of rating things. So does Beer Advocate. I like to stick to the untapped version. Um, the, uh, the, the the zero to, to five with the quarter, quarter grades in between, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to probably go with maybe a, maybe a 4.5, 4.75 maybe on that. I think I'm gonna go with a 4.5 on it. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. I wish there was a little bit more coffee into it. Yeah. Um, also, maybe a, a little thicker mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is really good. Just wish it was a little thicker. Um, yeah. A little more coating to it. Yeah. It is. But overall, this is a really solid beer. Wouldn't expect anything else out of a uh, out of Jack Yo's for sure. So if you've tried this beer, uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of it. Um, it's going to be hard to find. It's a brewery only release, so you're probably going to have to end up trading for it, or um, maybe somebody will bring it to a share. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, remember to uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we will see you in our next beer review. Thanks, guys.